You guys, a lot of people suffer from this. Local headache experts say this is a huge breakthrough because while they've been using Botox to treat migraine for years, they say this FDA approval will make it hard for health insurance companies to deny coverage of Botox used for this purpose. And this approval draws awareness, they say, to this first ever medication for chronic migraine. Botox is actually a chemical. It's put in powder, in solution, and that's injected via a tiny syringe. Botox to smooth out wrinkles is big business in southwestern Connecticut. But Botox in the back of the head? And down the neck. This is for chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days per month. To reduce and in some cases eliminate migraines. The FDA approval of Botox means we now have the first on-label approved drug to treat this really tough group of patients. I always wake up with my migraines. I would be in bed that entire day. Susan McLean would be incapacitated. People who have chronic migraine have a hard time getting to work. They have severe pain, light and sound sensitivity, nausea. I mean, their lives can virtually be on hold. It's disastrous. McLean gets Botox injections at Fairfield-based Associated Neurologists every four months. <sighs> She feels each shot. But compared to a migraine, it's a piece of cake. So we're trying to turn off nerve impulses that culminate in these headaches. To shut down the pain signals that travel up the nerves connected inside the brain. I probably have months where I have no migraines at all. The uh, Botox keeps everything pretty quiet most of the time. All of a sudden they have their life back. They have their spouse back. They're able to care for their kids. They're able to go and hold down a job and bring home the money. So, you know, you really can. This is a game changer. And doctors say Botox works to a different degree in each patient and in some cases doesn't work at all. Meanwhile, the watchdog group Public Citizen wants you to know that Botox injections used for various purposes, usually cosmetic, have been linked to more than 100 cases of botulism. To learn more about migraine treatments in particular, go to news12.com.